Basalt is an example of an igneous rock, and it's one of the most important and abundant rocks on the Earth. If we look at our planet, its crust, or outer layer, is divided into two types of material. We have continental crust, which is underlain by granite and has sedimentary rocks on top. But the vast majority of the Earth's crust is what we call oceanic crust. And so if you take away the two or three miles of ocean that's present, down at the bottom, you're going to find that crust. And it's going to be made primarily of the rock called basalt, which looks like this. Another place that you can see basalt is a place that might be a little surprising to you. If you look at the moon through binoculars and see the dark areas on the moon, the regions that make the, the face of the so-called man in the moon, you're looking at basalt lava flows that occurred on the moon, which brings up the point that other planets have somewhat the same rocks and minerals as the Earth does, although they're not all identical. Now, if we look at some rocks, and even some igneous rocks, we can see individual mineral grains in them and distinguish the components of them. But try as you might with the unaided eye, you can't really do this with basalt. It's pretty much uniform, and trying to identify the individual minerals in this would be about as hard as identifying the ingredients in a piece of cake if you were eating the cake, because it's all blended together and baked. But anyhow, through a microscope, we can begin to see some of the crystals at a very small scale, and we do know, of course, what's in basalt. And one of the things that we find in basalt are dark silicate minerals. Silicate minerals contain silicon and oxygen, They're the most uh, abundant group of minerals in the Earth's crust. This is an example, one of them called hornblende. As you can see here, it's a fairly dark material, which makes sense given the color of basalt. Basalt also contains feldspar, which is light in color, but there's not enough of that present generally to give you uh, the lightness in the mineral. And by definition, if we look at a piece of basalt, it's typically going to be over three quarters dark material. So it's got a very dark color. Now, where do we find basalt? Well, other than in places on the ocean floor, we're going to find it in certain areas where mountain building has occurred, volcanic activity on the Earth. Uh, some areas you will have this material being uh, mined out of the ground, crushed, and used for gravel rather than what we do around uh, in Ohio, for example, where we take limestone out of the ground and crush that to make gravel. So basalt is not a real valuable substance. It's not used uh, in, in building or architecture as much as granite, but still an important and interesting example of an igneous rock.